tearing them up now and they're all good size, yes. What's going on y'all, welcome back. Just getting the uh, battery connected for another day of kayak fishing. Devin and I have brought out the old town canoes, kayaks. <laughs> So, we've got the PDL 106 over here, the Autopilot 120 right here. We have loaded these things out with a ton of baits, ton of gear, ton of rod and reel combos, and today's episode is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle, y'all. About everything I've got tied on here is from Carl's Bait and Tackle. That's where we get about 90% of our baits on a monthly basis. You guys have absolutely got to check them out with the link in the description to save up to 30% on everything you throw on a day-to-day -day basis. We're gonna go ahead and drop in. We've got a makeshift boat ramp at this cool looking construction site pond. And uh, we've had some good luck here in the past, man. There's reeds, there's lily pads, there's deep spots, there's humps, there's trees, there's rock on the far side. It's kind of a quarry. We are gonna have at it and try and catch some fish for you guys. It should be a fun time. Let's go ahead and get launched. Two. <laughs> Forgot to connect my string here to pull the motor down. There we go. Turn the remote on. Start off with the clanky reel. Probably gonna... <laughs> Super smooth. <laughs> That's how you clean a $500 reel. <laughs> All right, guys, we're starting this off with a, a hot new commodity on the website. This is actually that stealth blade chatterbait. I caught a bunch of fish recently on this bad boy right here. This is the one of the variations of the jackhammer now, and I got a 3.3 inch saucy swimmer on the back ready to just tear them up. We just got to figure out where they're at, what they're up to. So let's see if this thing won't get it done. It's a little windy once we get out into open water. Four and a half. But for now, we're in the uh, calm spot. me I didn't realize you were just oh god <laughs> well that's a tiny one <laughs> I was talking to Devin because we're just kind of like working our way out of here slow and steady I guess they will chase the chatterbait maybe they like the breeze out here though it was kind of calm in the back and they weren't hitting we might consider like a spinner bait or something huh there we go Golly, what is up with the little guys today? Oh my goodness. At least they'll hit the chatterbait, but we're not getting the good size here. <laughs> I didn't even think I had a fish on. He <laughs> totally engulfed the dark sleeper. I gotta show Westy. See, look, bloop. <laughs> he annihilated it. All right, we gotta get after some biggest. Oh, he came off. Yep. <laughs> Got a good fighter. He's not too crazy big, but he's actually not too bad. Gotta get him up here. Oh no. Come here. Oh, you know, he's bigger than I thought. Hey, Woo, feels good to catch a good fish. It's been a minute for me. Look at that guy. Annihilation. He was not going anywhere. Perfect hook set right there at the top of the mouth. First decent one in the boat. I'd probably say this guy's pushing maybe three pounds or so. I mean, I guess we could go ahead and put him on the scale. We got it right here. Getting close to there. A little over two and a half. We were looking at 2.62. That was a really fun catch. I didn't get the hook set on the camera. I started my GoPro as the fight was going, but we're gonna go ahead and try and get after some more of these size, plus hopefully fingers crossed a little bit bigger. Out here a few hours before Hurricane Beta storm front is supposed to hit us up in the Dallas Fort Worth area. It's a little breezy. We're navigating the waters without any issues thanks to the pedal drive and the trolling motor. So we're gonna go ahead, get on some more fish, hopefully get a bigger fish in the boat. I'm pretty sure we have a really good possibility, especially with that storm front rolling in.
It might, it might be, huh? Oh. There we go. Taking a little drag, he bit on the jig. Oh, that's actually, he's looking pretty good, babe. Oh yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's pretty good. Wow. Well, I'm trying to stay out of the... I gotta know, I gotta get out of here. Holy cow. I don't know if I can flip this thing or not, but that's a big one. All right, there we go. <laughs> I got a good one. Golly, I was just saying the drop off is so steep right here. Whew, that feels good, okay. There we go guys, first one with some good size on the gridiron jig, I think it's three quarter ounce too. This place is so deep, literally I cast towards like the very edge of the rock and it just goes straight down. I just pop it a couple times to get it away from some grass and then I'm letting that thing fall and he hit right as that thing was going down, probably five to 10 feet down. I'm just gonna get a quick weight on this guy. He's three and three quarters guys, almost a four pounder. Sometimes you gotta break out the big old skirt. That's what done it guys. Watermelon, red flake, three quarter ounce with I think just a green pumpkin bandito bug as the trailer. Knocking them out, man. Out here on the kayaks. Let's go ahead and get this one back in the water. All that gear you can grab at Carl's Bait and Tackle, including the scale. I would not use another scale after using this one, man. I've broken a bunch of those Walmart ones and other ones that you see off the shelves and you gotta stick it in the gills. They might flop off, you might hurt the fish. This thing right here, I've had it fail like once out of the two, I don't even know, two, three, four hundred, I don't, hundreds of fish we've weighed. Got to get one of these Rapala scales, man. Carl's Bait and Tackle. Thank you guys for sponsoring today's video and supporting the channel. We're going to support this little guy by getting him back in the water. Let him go to grow up and be a big old five, ten pounder one of these days. It got me stone cold. Right there, as soon as that wacky rig hit the water. Oh, yeah. There we go, just about out of battery. Man, that was right whenever I just threw that wacky rig right against those rocks, falling off, and Weston's right, it gets really deep, really fast. He hit it right on the drop. Bye. All right, this is the juice that I caught that guy on. It is the five inch lunker log in that black red flake. Super simple, wacky hook, tied on and I did have a Nico weight in the nose of this so I just simply put that Nico weight in there so it would fall a little bit faster go ahead and back us up a little bit just gonna be pretty careful on bringing this guy up all right done and just go straight through the body like I said I don't have any of the o-rings uh, those definitely help protect your bait a lot more than what I'm doing now. I'm really gonna probably catch one fish, if not just get a bite. And the fish can most likely just rip this uh, worm right out of this hook. Uh, you know, it's called the improvising. We're not necessarily the best prepared for what they're biting on in this situation, but that's okay. These hooks, those Nico weights, and these worms are also stuff that you can get on Carl's Bait and Tackle. So be sure and check out that link below. Does he got it? Does he got it? Yes. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Ah. I want to make sure he had it before I really set it. It's decent. Take that drag, bud. Take that drag. <laughs> Some of the funnest fights. Oh, he might be my biggest one of today. Come here. Whoa. Got a good one. Come here. Oh! Haha. <laughs> look at that. Good fish. This is definitely my biggest one of today. And look, that worm did exactly what it was supposed to do. It went up on the up on the line further. Oh, that hook was barely in there. Look at that, guys. Ooh! All right, bud. One final look at you. Beautiful fish. Let's go ahead. Get you back in the water. I know you're over this. Ooh. <laughs> Water temps are definitely getting a little colder here. Oh, got a bite. I got a bite. He's swimming with it. Yep, there he is. 
Golly, that's like second cast after I just brought in that other one. This could be a better one. It's so hard to tell. Fighting with it good though. Haven't seen him yet. Oh, he's not bad. He's not bad, but he's not too crazy big. Oh no, come here. Come here. Oh God, come here. <laughs> Struggle busting over here, man. Right there in the top of the mouth. Unfortunately, this guy took my worm. Like I said, the worm probably would have been saved if I had one of those O-rings. That's all right though. That's okay. You know, a lot of people, you use what you got to use. All right, bye. <laughs> okay, we're down to two more blunker logs and this is my last Nico weight. If this is what they're hitting on, I got to rig up the last one before I switch over probably to a jig. I think that's what Weston's using and he's having just as much luck if not more than I am. Uh, they're really just wanting something slow falling on it seems like this drop off. So both what we're using is proving to be checking my line it's a little frayed down there I should probably I should probably go ahead and retie that really fast oh that one might be good oh wow I felt like weight but then again you never really know yeah he's good all right another good one come on up they are liking the jig, man. There's another fat two plus right there. He felt heavy when I set that hook. He must have been swimming right back down to the depths. And we're just gonna let him do that right now. We'll see you. Thank you. <laughs> Cruising. I literally, I think, just turned on the motor because I was assuming I wasn't gonna catch much right here where it's just dirt coming down. I like the idea of the grass over here. That way there's a little bit more cover for these bass to ambush uh, some prey, right? But on my way over, I felt that bass either tugging or just kind of swimming with it. The jig got real heavy. And I guess maybe I was wrong. Maybe there are some just kind of roaming the bank right here where there's less grass. They seem to be off the bank just a little bit today though. Or at least like down a little ways, not like close to the surface. A lot of times we just throw in some moving baits, cast and reel, cast and reel, and we'll rake them up. Today's a little different. The jig right on this grass edge now seems to be doing work, which is good news. Thank you. Now Devin's got a good one. Okay, bite's picking up. Oh, yep, got him. Oh, wow. Tearing them up now, and they're all good size. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow, this one's this one is bigger than those last two, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, this might be the biggest one of the day. Oh, f yeah, he's hooked good. He's hooked good. Come here. Come here. Oh wow, that's a good one. Yep. <laughs> Oh my God, that's a good one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Devin's got one on right now too. We're doubled up guys. Doubled up, four and a half. Okay, man. That's a four and a half pound beauty right there. All right then, buddy. Let's let you go. Oh, God dang. Well. I almost fell in on that one. Another good one, guys. Another good one. I mean, back to back to back, guys. Three plus right after the GoPro battery switch. Ah, no, two and a half. Two and a half, two and three quarters right after the GoPro battery switch, man. Let's get them doubled up again. Oh my God, they're on fire now. All right, then. See you, bud. Got to get more. I cannot believe this bite right now in good size. It has switched up from when we first got here. I don't know if I even included the dink footage in this video, but man, we had some little ones to start. Hit spot lock. Winds are about 15 miles an hour right here. I'm gonna be able to hit this whole pocket without just drifting by it and having to paddle or pedal like crazy. 
doing its work, working its magic. If you guys have not checked out these kayaks, man, they're absolutely my favorite kayak I've ever been on is the Autopilot 120. I always offer it to Devin, but she likes using the pedal one, so I think her preference is the PDL 106. We do plan on taking a trip to Florida in November, and uh, I'm gonna try and get us another one of these motor-driven kayaks for that trip, since it's gonna be some bigger water. Could get a little rough. Old Town also has some different kayaks with the motor that we haven't showcased before, so maybe we can get a hold of one of those for the trip. Now, where's my bite, man? It's been like four casts and I haven't got one. <laughs> well, let's take her off spot lock and move down a little bit. Like, has he got it? He's got it. Oh no, oh no. Damn, might've been a small one. Got him. Another good one, another good one. Dripping. Jeez, another one in the books, y'all. See ya. My goodness, they're on. Switching things up to a jig. This is a little bit of a lighter. This is a 3 8 ounce. Uh, it's one of the Guggen Squad. Smaller profile jigs. I've got it paired up with one of the uh, Crack and Crawl as the trailer. This is what I was uh, using down in Austin. If you guys watched any of those videos. Catch some of those fish under those Lake Austin uh, docks. So just get this get bad boy tied on and get after some jig bites. Oh, he's fighting. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, there we are. First one on the jig for me. <laughs> so, woo, they're still biting. Wesson just made his way over here and was telling me that he was hitting them all along this uh, bank right on the grass line. So uh, right whenever we were talking about that, that's exactly what I was doing. Linked up with this dude. Solid, uh, definitely pushing upper twos. Wesson, where's your fish? I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Chunk. Got him. There we go. Okay. Oh, no. Well, it happens. That was another, when I saw that belly flash, it was definitely a two pounder. So I'm thinking probably, I'm thinking it could have been three. If it was any bigger, that's a bummer. But we've been uh, doing pretty good today. So there we go. Oh. Oh no! That felt big! There we go. Yep. This storm is rolling in. This could very well be one of the last fish of the day. We're gonna go ahead and fish a little bit longer, but as you can see, it's getting quite a bit windier out here. We're gonna get this guy back in the water and load up the kayaks. He's off to a running start. Ooh. 